It's why the stance, exactly is, it's why the stance is so important, though, isn't it? Really if the stance is correct, you've got that, you know you can play the shot, and then you work from that to make yeah. different shots. Yeah. But if your stance changes and messes around, you're changing the shot you're changing around. Everything. changing so everything. everything you've got yeah, to so play. You, you begin, you begin to compensate. So, so can I just ask then, so let's yeah. say we've got a situation where we're trying to deliver that right at the very beginning, and one of, one of the service users that are attending the session is a wheelchair user, yeah. So they don't have the the, 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 the the learning point around yeah. the position of the foot. Yeah. So at that point, you obviously need to teach that to those right. that do have that. So how do we then improve so the physical disability for the wheelchair user? So a physical disability, what you'll notice is their arm will never be straight. They don't bike. Right. Uh, you know, you know, so basically, if you're, if you're playing snooker, right, because you sat down, yeah, your arm's going to be like that. Right. So basically, just about everybody who has in a wheelchair is playing basically like that. You're not, enough, you're not high enough yeah. to be able to get in that position, are you? See, see what I mean? I can't get my arm up like that. Yeah. I'm going to be over here. So I've got my chin on cue, my arms like that. Yeah, You can still play like that. It's like classic the broken wing. It'd be like you, that would say, but it comes, your arm comes like this, yeah? But basically, as you're playing your shot, so long as you're in a straight line, imagine if your chair's pointing this way. You're in a straight line, you're playing your shot, you're down. You see what I mean? You can so in, I reckon in situations like that then, if we've got a wheelchair user, then rather than delivering and breaking it down so that the first component is your feet, mm. so that we don't oh, that's the chair. from that, we that's do, the chair. this is a technique session, yeah. we do it all in one, oh, and yeah, then yeah. we just yeah. work But that person will do it with the feet, the person in the wheelchair will go lining up your chair, yeah. knowing where your chair, because actually you've still got to get your chair your chair's got so to like be that, not like that. Yeah. Because that if they line the chair up, yeah. like so the chair's side. always at side. Always side at 90 degrees to pull, and then yeah. you're, you're sitting there playing straight across so your body. Straight, straight shot, and your arm can't go anywhere. So that's interesting. So that's imperative for the, for the, for the game players. Right? Yeah, They've got to be side on, because I won't be able I've to. been inclined to kind of sit at that position. Yeah, 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 you won't be able to get round to that position with your chair being there. You know what I mean? It's always side on when they're playing because if you get round to that position, the arm seems to just bend off and it, they end up being right. higher up. Okay. They can't yeah. get close to the table. Yeah. So they're further away from white, which means you're using this a lot more. Mm. Everybody always puts the chair to its side. You know what I mean? Degrees and just sit it literally flat on yeah, the table. And then you're going so in a straight seen. line. Right, that's cool. So then we can, yeah, so that works then. You can still break it down, do you? Right, so this. I've got someone with a visual impairment who's registered an interest wanting to uh, participate in snooker. She yeah. lost the central vision, but yeah. she, she took part in archery on Friday yeah. and actually loved it, but got the adaptive equipment. Yeah. Physical disability, so wheelchair users. So yeah. at yeah. this point, when we're delivering the session, if we've got and a fully inclusive session and we've yeah. got Glynis and we've got wheelchair users yeah. and LD, at this point here, we're we're delivering about the, the legs. Technique, which is obviously in line with which shot. So even if you've got your visual impairment, I mean, all I know is when, if I, if I, if I get down Just to my shot. Do you have, do you do it to anyone with visual impairment? Uh, we have done previously, yeah. But basically, just done that by stands, yeah. Uh, uh, walking into the shot correctly, like, stood, stood behind him, helping him into the shot, yeah. yeah. Walking into the shot, so he knows he's in a straight line. Now, you know, in, in, that, in that area. In that kind of direction. So, it's the same so the I'm down here, area. like, basically, I'm coming across. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's so there that I didn't have to look. You know, yeah, like, what because you knew it was straight and everything was straight and you set yeah, the shot up. Yeah, so if it's, if it's just off straight. Which is why the, stance, exactly. is, which is why the stance is so important, though, isn't it? Really if the stance is correct, you've got that, you know you can play the shot, and then you work from that to make yeah. different shots. Yeah. But if your stance changes and messes around, you're changing the shot you're changing around. Everything, changing so everything, everything you've got to yeah, play. So you, you, begin, you begin to compensate. So, so can I just ask then, so yeah. let's say we've got, uh, we, we've got a lad what's, to, what's recently turned 18, mm. and he delivers this award, but he's, he doesn't really play snooker, right? But he, he's got Asperger's, yeah. right? but he's brilliant at walking around and teaching it, yeah. right? Brilliant. Do you know, and, and saying, look, what you're doing right and wrong. Yeah, yeah. But you don't really play his scent for the You can use other people's yeah. That's it, you can always use and other plus, people's demonstrate anyway, can't you? And plus, what else, what, what, what else he loves doing is refereeing. Yeah. He likes refereeing, he's counting all the time, he's the cleverest kid in the world, you know what yeah. I mean? He's like, unbelievable. His numbers are so, you can give him equations and he just, you know, yeah, translates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's amazing. But he, but he doesn't, he'll have a few shots at snooker, but then he might think, oh, I'm not bothered to see you, I'm going to go and ref again. Go and ref again, get your white gloves on. That's what he wants to do, isn't he? Yeah, play Right, I know you can do this. Use it in scoreboard, so it's new with right? And, and you use your Q action, what yep. you've learned, right? Yep. So all we're doing is introducing reds, very, very basic. All we're doing is saying, come on, look, these are worth one point. You use the scoreboard, you move it on board, you know, you look at the digit. Mm -hmm. And then after, after you get here, uh, 
illustrate the correct position of the ball. So then, I'm going to go around and set, you know, and it comes, it set the table up, show and set it up, and, you know, and just get it right. Right, and then you've got, find the value, you know, whatever. I mean, you've got red, black, you've got your balls. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we'd add them up, and we'd do that just by using the scoreboard. So we yeah, get his ball. Get used to that, yep. Yeah. Show them how you score. One, go up, right, seven, eight, and let them count it on score. It takes obviously that, not all the yeah. time, and then they're using yeah, the numbers, everything else. Scoreboard, yeah. and then they're adding up, and then they're writing mm -hmm. it down, yeah. putting yeah. from different angles. Like if the kids are doing the awards, mm. so you're doing an adult and they're doing an award, does yeah. that they get one of these as well? They either no, is, uh, the, they get physically one of those as well, or is that for you yeah. instructing? Like 24 MPs behind us, we've got like 10,000 kids in the snooker. Right. But we've, uh, all this money what we won from Dragon's Den, we spent it on trademark mm. on that mm. to, once we get ours up and running, mm. is to work, because we're in Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. You know, we can, and Yorkshire's the biggest county in Europe. Mm. Right. You know, practice. You see that short way, isn't it? Okay. Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. That I, would, I would love to do yeah. that. Chin down. I think we've got. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting to know what's going to grow it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. basically, if we can get people interested in snooker, yeah. 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 I want to that. get people into it. But I want, I, I want to see not only kids who's able-bodied at school getting into it. That's gone back to the old-fashioned style now, look. Yeah. You know it's I mean? my old-fashioned stance. Well, everybody should have a shout, shouldn't they? Completely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's about inclusion. Yeah. No, that would be brilliant, mate. And I can, I, you know, you're a yeah, decent guy. Yeah. You know, you're an yeah. honest guy as well. And. Uh